Today, we are going to explore how organizations allocate IP addresses and delve into the nuances of classless interdomain routing, or CIDR. Let's start with the basics of subnetting. An IP address identifies a user's device on a network, and these addresses can be assigned manually or by the organization managing the local network. Organizations usually receive a range of IP addresses that they can distribute across various departments and devices. But how do they decide which IP addresses, which blocks of IP addresses that they should assign where? That is where subnetting comes into play. Subnetting is the process of dividing a large IP address block into smaller, more manageable or more usable segments for different device groupings. For instance, a company might group servers for the finance department separately from those for marketing, and they would assign them distinct IP address ranges. So let's imagine a company with 100 new IP addresses. They could allocate 50 to finance and 50 to marketing, effectively subnetting the provided IP range or the IP block. So to make subnetting efficient, we don't assign IP addresses one by one. Instead, we use classless interdomain routing or CIDR. CIDR uses a format that combines an IP address with a suffix number, and that suffix number indicates the range and the number of IP addresses that are available. So let's break down CIDR a little bit. Consider the CIDR block 192.243.3.0 slash 24. The prefix 192.243.3.0 is the IP address. The suffix 24 indicates both the range of IPs and the number available. And so in this case, the first 24 bits or three octets are static. The last eight bits are variable. That's what can change. That offers us a range of zero to 255. Remember, if we add up all those binary values for those, those eight octets, those eight bits, we get 256. Usable are zero to 255. That means 256 IP addresses are available, ranging from 192.243.3.0 all the way up to 255. Now the suffix in a CIDR block can range from zero to 32, and that tells us how many bits are static. More static bits on the left means fewer variable host IPs on the right. So for an example, a slash zero means the entire IP range, everything is variable. However, a slash 32 indicates only a single IP address. There's no variation at all. So let's look at a CIDR chart to understand the relationship between the suffix and the range of IP addresses. As you can see, as the suffix increases, the range decreases and vice versa. You could use a chart like this to help you as you are working with IP addresses and until you become familiar with some of the most common CIDR ranges. Now, while understanding CIDR and subnetting principles is very important, we can use online tools to simplify calculations. One common tool is ipaddressguide.com slash CIDR. This is an online CIDR IP range calculator. So if we put in an example of 192.243.3.0 slash 24 into the calculator, we can instantly see the range and the count of host IP addresses confirming that our earlier calculations were correct. So to conclude, subnetting is powered by CIDR notation. It is the fundamental process in network management by which we divide blocks of IPs into smaller ranges that we can distribute and use for various scenarios. It allows for efficient and organized IP address allocation, and it ensures that networks are structured and manageable. Remember, while the theory is essential, tools like CIDR calculators can greatly simplify this process in practical scenarios for you.